Number 10, which polynomial is equivalent to all that divided by all that? Assume the divisor is not equal to zero because you can't divide by zero. You can't put things in groups of nothing. It makes no sense. So basically, <clears throat> excuse me, we know the bottom has a three and minus one in it, right? So three and minus one times something gives us back this 18n squared minus 9n plus one because three and minus one is obviously a factor. And it obviously, when you divide it, it gives you a nice, pretty, piece up top. Well, let's figure out what that piece is. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, this piece times this piece has to give me 18n. Well, what would that be? That 3 times 6 and n times an n would give me the 18n squared. A negative 1 times what's going to give you a positive 1? A minus 1. That's what it's going to be, which means if you come in and you divide this guy by 3n minus 1, that's the answer it should give you. Choice A, 6n minus 1 is the other piece because I know a 3n minus 1 times that 6n minus 1 gives me back that 18n squared. So just like 2 times 5 equals 10, well, if you're trying to get this piece by itself, you divide by 2, yeah, move it over, you're going to be left with that. And that's why we're left with 6n minus 1. 6n minus 1 is basically a factor of it. And when you divide by 3n minus 1, that's what you get.